Now we're going to do a simple, relatively simple motorcycle. For those of you that have my first DVD Latex Lions, this is a variation of the two balloon motorcycle that you saw in it with some minor little changes that make it a little bit different, a little bit fancier, but still not terribly difficult. We're using three balloons. I've got a black 260 I've inflated leaving about a three inch tail. A uh, purple, I'm using Fashion Lilac for this. A uh, 160 I've inflated without leaving about a four inch tail. And then a 260, also lilac, that uh, it's got about a three and a half to four inch tail on it. We're gonna start with the 260. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make about a two and a half inch bubble. And then fold that over, another bubble the same size. Lock those two together, and then we're going to make a half inch bubble and make that into a pinch twist. Now we're going to go down and do about a three inch bubble here, slightly longer than the other. Make a half inch bubble and another pinch twist. And we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble there, another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. And now we're getting to what's going to happen is this is going to be the front forks and we're going to get to our rear forks. We want them to be about the same size as those there. So another bubble approximately that size, about two inches. Another bubble corresponding to that, same size, twist those together. And then we want one more bubble the same size as this and we're going to twist it back into that. And we're going to take this excess off. Twist this up and to secure it. Now this is where we vary from the other one. We're going to set that aside for a second. We're going to take our 160, make about a half to three quarter inch bubble, then make a real small bubble, a little less than a half inch, make that into a pinch twist. I'm going to make our first handlebar, so about a two, two and a half inch bubble, and then come back to our main body of the motorcycle and where we started up here in this first pinch twist, the one that's got the two here is going to be our seat. This is going to be the gas tank in our front, so we're going to put our first handlebar up here. Now we're going to come down below that. What you want to do is just, you're looking at your motorcycle, if it's sitting up like that, where these two are pretty level, come straight out, and that's where you're going to make your bend here. Make a bubble about that size, that's about an inch and a half. Make a little small, less than half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist. And then again, you want to hold it so you can see where that's kind of straight, makes a nice little 90 degree L shape there. Twist that and twist into this pinch twist here. And then we're just going to backtrack and go back up to there, up to there, and come up to make another handlebar. So, bubble the size of that one. Twist into that pinch twist. Bubble the size of this one here. Come back up on the top pinch twist. And coming back up on top again, we'll need another handlebar. So we'll need a bubble about the size of that one there. A little pinch twist. And then another little small bubble like this one here. And we're going to keep the rest of this inflated because we can use that for a kickstand in a moment. So take that off. Hang on to it. Set it aside for the moment and be sure to tie this one. Trim that. Okay, there's the basic frame, and you can see it's starting to shape, take shape more like a motorcycle. Now we're going to take our black 260 and starting up at the front here where the handlebars are, we're going to take the nozzle and twist it into the base of this here. Make sure it's secure. Now we're going to just wrap this around those two bubbles there to make our front tire. Twist it around the top to secure it. Now we're going to come up and fill this little bit of gap that we have here. So you want a little small bubble, slightly smaller than these. We'll put a little pinch twist to lock it in place and then a bubble that will fit in there. So we want to fill that. So, and for this you'll want to kind of squeeze it to make sure it's good and soft. So make your first bubble. That's about an inch or so. Make a little pinch twist. And then our second bubble is going to be a little longer. That needs to be softer. About an inch and a half. Twist into this back pinch twist here to lock it in place. 
And now we're going to take this black and push it up in to this section here. This is going to represent the engine. It looks a little distorted now. Once we get it all turned, it'll be okay. Now, get all back straight. You can see we're starting to take a little shake. Now we're going to take and run across the back here for our back seat. Go to this back pinch switch and lock it in place. And then just do a loop around these back forks here for our back wheel. Secure that and take the rest off. We don't need it anymore. And then make sure you secure that in. Nicely. Tuck that away. That's the basic motorcycle there. And as you can see, I've tucked that right there. It kind of pulls that down so it sits a little better. Take that little piece that we had left over and make a kickstand. What we want to do, if I just take and put the kickstand in there, a lot of times it'll push this over and make it go crooked. So what we're going to start by doing, set that aside, we're going to take and make a little small bubble and a pinch twist on the end, end of this. And I do that primarily so we don't have a little knot sticking out. Now we're gonna come in and just come in from above the seat, put the pinch twist on one side, so that it's clean. And then I'm gonna take and bring this down and around that large pinch twist on the bottom to make sure it's locked in place. And then come out the other side. Now you wanna go out just far enough to clear the body of the bike. Then I'll put a small bubble on a pinch just there. And then you want just enough kickstand coming down to hold it up. So I'll come down just a little bit below the body of the bike so I can put a slight bend in it. Take this excess off. Trim that slightly. Then I'll take this piece and put just a little bend in it to get the foot of the kickstand. And there you go, our little bike.